On today's show, we're talking about which microphone you should buy. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Photo Video Show, where we explore all things photography. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and on today's show, I'm going to talk to you guys more about microphones. Honestly, these days, there's probably not a single day that goes by that I don't get asked, what's the best blank, 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 you know, like, what's the best camera I should buy, or what's the best lens I should buy, or what's the best microphone I should buy. And realistically, there is no perfect answer. Um, I constantly try and reiterate that fact. Uh, but I just don't think that it ever really sinks in. Personally, I don't fully understand uh, the mental process behind what is the best of whatever because I don't believe that it exists. Microphones in particular have very specific uses. And if I can compare it to something else that I think that we'll all agree on is that lenses also have very specific uses. And then of course there's always cameras as well. I mean, let's be honest, I mean, you don't want to be taking a point and shoot to a supermodel shoot, right? Well, that's pretty much the same thing uh, that applies here with microphones. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you six different options of microphones. I'm going to try to help you guys navigate the uh, sound waters, so to speak, and basically help you try and pick out the microphone that's going to best suit your needs. So if you guys are ready, let us begin. Now, as you can see, all the microphones are extremely different. They vary in shape, size, weight, functionality, uh, styling. Everything is a little bit different, and they're going to appeal to different people at different times for different situations. The one thing that all of these microphones have in common is that they do record sound. But just like all lenses record light, they don't all do it in the exact same way. So let's start off with the USB powered microphones, the Blue Yeti and the Samson Meteor Mic. These two microphones are meant more for the consumer grade person that generally just wants to do some voiceover recording sitting at their desk, maybe do a podcast, maybe a YouTube channel like I do. Um, a lot of different uses for these two different types of microphones. The Samson Meteor Mic actually has a little bit of a, um, a selling feature because of the folding legs. You can kind of take it with you. It can also be powered by your iPad. And that's a big selling feature for people that like to do a lot of mobile recording while out there on the go. The Blue Yeti is not really suited for that kind of thing because the thing is a beast. I mean, this thing is heavy. We're talking about three and a half pounds almost. Um, so this is not something that I would personally take with me out into the field on a daily basis. I just don't think that it's very practical. I have better solutions for that type of thing. But these two microphones here are basically for your tabletop, desktop recording needs. Next, let's talk about your two field recorders. Now the H4N and the H1 are generally considered uh, portable field recorders because they have the built-in microphones and they also have external inputs uh, that you can attach be it microphones or headphones or uh, balanced connectors, unbalanced connectors. They're really quite versatile in what they can do. The H4N obviously is a lot more versatile than the H1, but they still serve very uh, similar functions in the fact that they can be used as an input device while not having to lug around a lot of soundboard equipment or mixing boards and stuff like that. Now, I personally think that there are plenty of different ways that you can use these two uh, microphones uh, or field recorders, if you will, that they become almost invaluable to me. I can use the H1 as a lavalier body pack while I'm out in the field. Um, if I want to have phantom power and connect, say like a shotgun microphone while I'm out in the field, uh, the H4N will handle that job for me so that, again, I don't have to carry around a lot of extra equipment. Plus, it also serves as a backup should any of the external microphones that I have if they actually fail. Now, these last two microphones serve very specific functions. First of all, you've got your shotgun microphone. This is the Audio-Technica 875R. It's a wonderful, wonderful shotgun microphone that's very small, compact. Uh, a lot of people try and compare it to the Rode VideoMic or the Rode VideoMic Pro. Um, I think that for the money, you're getting Japan quality, nice heavy-duty build, XLR connection, balanced input, 
It is a beautiful piece of gear and it's only right around $179 so you're already looking at about 20 bucks less than your Rode video mics. So um, if that is something that you're um, into, if you're looking for very highly focused directional sound pickup, you're going to want to go for a shotgun microphone. I personally find that it's a great vocal microphone overall so there's a lot of times that I use it like I'm doing right now for voiceover work. And last but not least, you've got the lavalier microphone that is highly specialized in the fact that it's generally used for vocal pickup. Uh, it's meant mainly just to sit on one's chest and be clipped to something, a shirt, maybe a tie, something of that nature, and it's meant to be very, very close to the sound source. Uh, most generally a human being. What you're gonna end up using that for is when you want to pick up the person's voice, but you want to try to eliminate a lot of the outside sound. So lavalier microphones are mainly used for like newscasters and reporters and stuff like that or interviews when you want a very low footprint. So instead of having to have a boom mic uh, or a boom pole or microphone stands and all that kind of stuff around, you can just quickly pin that up uh, to your shirt or your jacket or whatever and you can have uh, a very localized sound recording. So to sum things up, if you need some help in deciding which type of microphone is going to be best for you and your needs, just take a look at this chart and decide which microphone is going to fit into the categories that you're most likely going to use them in. Well, there you go, and there you have it, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends on the internet, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can be the first one to watch all these brand new videos that I release upon the interwebs. At any rate, thanks again for stopping here at the Photo Video Show. I'm your host, Mark Puggett, and I will see you guys again on the next one.